And I'd like to welcome back vet Alex Melrose and dog trainer Kelly McFarlane. Good morning, guys. Lovely to have you morning. on the show again. Good morning. Now, Alex, we asked our viewers to come up with some questions to Facebook their pet problems, and you've been looking through them, and there's been a few good ones. Yeah, one sort of jumped out at me from Luca. It was a little bit terrifying because he's talking about his black poodle being part of a dog gang. <laughs> <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds terrifying. <laughs> and I guess that's what made me cho choose it straight away. Um, and he's also asking about kennel cough, which, which is something that really crops up at this time of year. Um, and I guess the best way to talk about kennel cough is to th actually think of the dog's lifestyle. So if they're in a gang... Uh, if a dog gang down the dog park. Yeah, where they're real social. And let's hope they're not doing anything naughty. Uh, or they're going to kennels, they're going to doggy daycare, stuff like that. Um, then they really need to be vaccinated against kennel cough. Okay, how bad is kennel cough? Is it something that is life threatening or is it just like us getting a cold? No, it's pretty severe. It's a, it's a bronco, it's a trichia bronchitis. So it gets into this part of the airways and um, it, it can really cause a lot of wheezing, a lot of shortness of breath. Very bad cases of it, the dog will actually be collapsed and, and it will be life threatening. So it's a lot worse than, than the common cold. And so you can prevent it just by vaccinations, that's it? You can, yeah. The vaccines, uh, they lessen the chance of the dog getting it and they lessen the severity. So it's not a guarantee, but it, it's a heck of a lot better than being sort of half killed by a horrible disease. Okay, great. So if yeah. they're going anywhere with other dogs, you really should make sure that they are vaccinated. Definitely. That is very good advice. I hope that helps, Luca. And Kelly, you've got a very normal problem that you're dealing with that all pet owners go through. Let's actually have a look at this video, shall we? So on the video, the little dog um, is fantastic at jumping up. And um, as you can see, that's usually what most people will do is cuddle the dog. But what we're trying to do is teach the dog to actually sit um, instead of jumping up on me. Oh, good. So he's a gorgeous little thing. He soon picked it up quite quickly. Oh, that is a gorgeous dog. Yeah, one of my lovely clients. His name's Winter. So <laughs> the thing with jumping up, dogs jumping up, it's a bad thing, isn't it? I mean, my dog is quite small, but she does tend to jump a little bit. But I just find it easier just to let her. <laughs> I'm a bad dog owner, aren't I? <laughs> no, not at all. The, the reality is most people will get their small little puppies and, of course, the little puppy starts to jump up and it's all cute and cuddly. But what people tend to forget is the puppy is learning every day that this behaviour is working. Once the dog gets to about 25 kg, 30 kg, all of a sudden, they don't want it to jump up anymore. Fair enough. And you don't want them jumping up on a toddler either because that can be a very bad situation yeah, as well. Absolutely. Okay. And so what did you do just to train her there? You just gave her treats? Yeah, so it's just a reward base. So teaching the dog that every time that puppy will sit down or adult dog, so you can still teach this to older dogs, as soon as they sit, reward them for that at all times. Okay. That sounds like good advice as well. I will go home and I will make sure they do that <laughs> with my dog as well. Before you guys go though, we've got to award the Cafe Pet of the Week who is Fanta the Cat and Evelyn the Baby from South Auckland. Look at that, beautiful. At first I thought that Evelyn the Baby is the pet, obviously you can't do that. Uh, so you have got a $50 voucher from Feline Natural Cat Food coming out to you. You can enter at home, simply upload your pet photo to our Facebook page. Thank you, Alex and Kelly. We will see you again next week with more animal advice. Cool.